So I've just jumped in with Marcus. Marcus is just about to carry out the insulation resistance test on the rig behind us. Yeah. Can you talk us through what's happened before we get to this point in the testing procedure? Yeah, so I've took the necessary stages of making sure there's no loads in the circuit. We've left all the switches in the on position and also on the socket outlets as well. We've also ensured that there's no sensitive electronic equipment such as RCD switched on in the board. We don't okay. want to damage them. Okay, so that means that we're ready to do the insulation resistance test as far we as we're yeah. concerned. Now on the channel previously, we've only really seen one circuit being insulated yeah. resistance tested so it's gonna be mm -hmm. really good if i can bring the camera in and watch yeah 100 and we'll do it on the whole board at, overall well this is a first for the channel nice and close in for the insulation resistance of a whole installation marcus do you want to talk us through what you're doing yeah so first i'm going to set my test instrument up and we're going to set it to 500 volts dc now on this installation i can clearly see that i've removed all the loads we have a small test rig if we had a bigger installation, we might find it necessary to do it at 250 volts first, just to make sure we have actually eliminated all of the sensitive electronic equipment from the circuit. That's a really good tip, thank you for that. So I've said it's 500 volts DC. I'm gonna go into my earth bar first. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna work my way across the circuit breakers and go in that sequence. So I'm now going between line and CPC. And we're getting a reading greater than the machine can read. Is that greater than 999 mega ohms? It is. So what we're looking for now is to make sure that we're not going below our tolerances of one mega ohm. Further investigation would then be required if it was below two mega ohms. And obviously we now know that if it's a new installation, it needs to be above 20 mega ohms. And this is effectively a brand new installation for our learners, yeah? Yes, it is. <clears throat> So you're happy with those results you got between the line conductor and the earth bar? Yeah, so we've obviously had a reading greater than 999 mega ohms, so we're happy with that. So now I'm going to test this circuit between line and neutral. Okay. Got a little bit of uh, moving around now because you've got three neutral bars up there, haven't we? Yeah. So greater than 999 for that circuit. Okay. More than happy with that. And that circuit is non-RCD because it's in a steel rounded cable as a sub-main feed, is that correct? It is, yeah. It's, we've imitated the supply in a garage. Okay, brilliant. We're then going to go on to the next neutral bar. And now we're going to have to make sure that our circuits we're going to test in between are on the right RCD neutral bar. Okay. Great. So again, then greater than 999 mega ohms. Okay. Oh. Ah, we have a problem. Ah. Now we are below our tolerance of our acceptable value, which is one mega ohm. So we've actually got 0.56 mega ohms. And we said if it's a brand new installation, we'd expect that to be over 20. 20 so mega we're, we're, we're Olympic distance away from there. So j j just stop and just take a breather there for me. So we've got an issue between, is that the lighting circuits, line and neutral, is that correct? Yes, that's correct. Yeah. It could be, first and foremost, you're thinking, oh, I might have left something in, a lamp or yep. something, uh, maybe a, a neon indicator for a loft light or something like that. That's not the case. We've, we, we can clearly see our installation in front of us. So what you're thinking, Marcus? So it looks to me maybe the cable started to break down. Okay. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to logically break down the circuit whilst re-performing our insulation resistance test. So we can actually locate where our problem lies within the circuit and then rectify the problem. So because it's a brand new installation, it could have been that a cable's been installed in the wall, it's been pinched maybe yep. back against uh, something that's causing to break down the insulation. So it's not breaking down over time because it's brand new. Yep. It may have been physically how it was installed at that time. Talk me through uh, a lighting circuit in the real world when I pull the camera back next and how we might investigate this fault. But for this bit, can you just carry on and complete the insulation resistance test of the other circuits for yeah, me? Yeah, of course. So now I'm gonna go on to the last neutral bar because okay. this one is the common one for this RCD. Okay. And we're going to test these circuits. So again, happy with that. Okay. And again, happy with that. So we have identified that so far our only issue is with this lighting circuit between line and neutral. Have you got any other tests to carry out? I see you've done the protective conductor and line, yes. you've done the neutral and lines, or any others? So now we're going to have to do between neutral and earth. Okay. okay. So we're going to go on to our earth bar. The CPCs are connected. Yeah. And now we're going to test the common but neutral bars separately. Okay, yep. Before anyone discusses the connections in there, this is a rig that's used loads of times every single day yeah. of the week. Yep. So that's, right, so we have only got that one issue. There's no other circuits we've got to further investigate. No. So I think if we pull back, we'll have an oral chat about what we think we could do to solve this problem. Thanks, Marcus. Yeah. 
So you promised us, Marcus, you'd look into a series of videos on fault finding. Yeah. This fault here is pretty difficult for us to break down for that lighting circuit. But it is because of the way the test rigs are set up. We yeah. can't actually do that. So the student would have found that fault and indicated to us maybe the insulation resistance was too low for the installation yes, itself. Exactly. Just a word of warning to remember that it's actually the overall insulation resistance of all the circuits in the board yep. that should be greater than one mega ohm. Yep. We had an individual circuit of less than one, yep. which would have meant the overall insulation resistance was less than the one mega ohms. But if we use our parallel circuit maths at Joe Robinson training video, have been doing do you agree yeah if we had for instance uh, five circuits with greater than 999 mega ohms and one circuit say with two mega ohms yeah what would be the overall insulation resistance so it'd be lower than the two mega ohms because uh, they're all in parallel it goes yes. back to that yeah so check out joe robinson for resistors in parallel it applies here in the actual electrical workshop we're carrying out this it test does, yeah. Let's go back to lighting circuit. Imagine I'm yep. in a house, four bed house, the upstairs lighting circuit's got an issue, just like we've done there, where maybe a cable's been trapped or a, a lower insulation resistance test than yep. expected. Talk me through some of the ways I could look at finding that fault. So one way you could look at finding that fault is what we could actually do is we, we could make a, an educated guess where we believe halfway of that circuit is. Okay, yep. So then what we could do is we could disconnect one half of the circuit yep. from the system and then re-perform our insulation resistance test. Now, if we got a low reading again, yeah. we would know up until that point is where our problem lies. If we got a reading greater than nine and nine, we know that it's after that point. So then what we can do is start systematically using that process to break down the circuit in half again and find it that way. I like that. So yep. you go to what you think is probably the middle light, you yep. take out the line and neutral supplying probably the neutral bar and loop yep. if it's using a conventional three plate method yep. we take those out and perform the insulation resistance test again yep. and if it shoots up high we're, we're halfway there yeah i like you you like your thinking behind that so marcus has continued to put out on youtube some more fault finding videos but for now marcus do you think we've covered everything we need to do yeah i think so i think we'll we'll start introducing more fault finding videos and and touching back on insulation resistance and different ways we can use insulation resistance for borrowed neutrals etc well, i like the sound of that so we've got to finish it mate yeah we hope, hope this, this video, video has been, been some help. help.